So I've selected an output, so um, I, have a, I have my folder right there, hit this folder icon, choose where you want to go, and we have a file format which will be PNG, RGBA, and then we can go ahead and hit, um, oh, we can scroll the start frame and the end frame to the same frame, so 0 or 1 and 1. I like to go 0 and 0 though, so it only renders one frame because we only need one frame of this, um, and then we can go ahead and hit render animation. Now we will render this. It should only take a couple seconds. There we go. Like I said, <laughs> but we have a problem because we need to make sure that the uh, RGBA when we scroll down here, we need to go to the render tab. Make sure film is on alpha transparent. Let's do that again. Uh, render animation. And now the background should be transparent. There we go. Perfect. Now we have this image. We can go on over to GIMP now. Um, or Photoshop, whatever you're using, it's the same difference. Um, we'll go ahead, and now in that place that we have that picture, we have uh, we have that image we just created. Now, this right here, I'll leave a link down to YouTube's uh, banner template, which is 2560, 1440. Um, but all, all I did was I just took the black the black bars uh, on the top and bottom out of that, and I just grabbed that as an individual um, layer. So uh, you want to keep in mind that on mobile and stuff, uh, the the outermost parts of the banner will be gone. So just put all the stuff that's really important as close to the center as you can. So we're going to do that in this tutorial today. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that picture we just created and drag that on into our uh, into our scene. We'll hit uh, we'll grab the the scale tool here, and we'll just scale it down to about right there, and, uh, and we'll move it on up. Hold down Control to move on axes, so I can I can go straight up and down. By uh, by holding down control there, uh, so that looks good. Somewhere around the center, about right there. Banner tutorial. Now this isn't bright enough, so I want to go ahead and I want. It's a good thing to duplicate every single layer you have, just in case you want to go backwards and do something. So I'm gonna hit right, right click this and hit duplicate layer, move it down, and then just turn it turn the layer off so we can't see it. So it's underneath everything. And it's off. All right. Now with that uh, one that's still on, we'll go to colors curves and we'll just turn the curves up so it, we brighten it a little bit and then we'll turn this piece down so we can darken the darker areas so brighten the tops darken the bottoms there we go hit ok on that now we have a much more vibrant um, uh, 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 logo right now so far and I have a couple of images that I grabbed off of pixels.com which is one of my favorite websites because all the images are royalty free go ahead and uh, I'll leave a link to that down in the description uh, I just typed in ice and I grabbed all of these pictures, all five of these right here. So I'm going to start off, I think, uh, I'm going to start off with this guy right here. We'll just drag him in. And the great thing about this is this is not going to be enough pictures, by the way. Oh, we'll just hit um, keep on that. Uh, this is not going to be enough pictures uh, most of the time. So you're going to want to grab as many as possible just in case you want to do some cool stuff. So this image is really huge. So we'll just scale it down. I'll hold down control to keep the dimensions proper. Um, and we'll scale it down to about the size of the canvas which is about right there, hit scale, it's going to take a while because the image is pretty big, but um, but yeah, this is a really cool image, and um, you can go there and take a look at all the, the pictures, there's really cool things going on here, um, and we'll just scroll this back beneath the back right there, so this works pretty well already, now the coloring is a bit off, this is a bit teal over here, you can see, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer because we duplicate everything, move that down, turn it off, now with the one that's still on, we'll go to colors, curves, I do want to brighten it just a little bit and darken the blacks just a little bit. Go to value, and we can mess around with the red and the blue and everything else. So I want to take I want to take that red out, just get rid of that a little bit, and then take the green out as well. And it'll make it a little bit more purple, purple but that's fine, because we're going to go to blue and turn the blue up about right there. And I want to go to green and turn a little bit more green in there. Red. Um, and we're just, we're just color correcting right now. It's no big... No big, no big deal, no big thing. It's fine. It'll take a while most of the time, but that's okay. I'm looking at the mountains over here, and I really want them to be more blue. I want it to be like super vibrant blue. I think that looks good. We hit okay on that, and that looks good. So now, what I want to do is, I think uh, what I want is I want just this side over here on this side. So I don't want both these sides. So I'm going to go ahead, and with this rectangle select tool, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and kind of split this somewhere in, in the middle right here. Um, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna deselect that. We're gonna go up to uh, where is it at here? We're gonna go to image guides, uh, new guide by percent, and make sure this is on per, uh, on 50, and then hit OK. Um, and we're gonna go to image uh, guides, new percent, 
and change this to vertical make sure this is on 50 okay so now we have a guide that's directly in the center we can go ahead and line up our banner here actually we'll select the banner lo icon logo sorry uh, layer crop to content then we can go ahead and move that to the exact center um, of our canvas which is nice so I'm actually going to move it a little bit more up than that because the word tutorial is a bit bigger than the word banner. It looks a bit off, even though it's not. All right, there we go. Um, now, with this blue background, this, with this guy, I want to I want to split this in half. So we'll grab that rectangle tool. We'll go directly on that guide. It will snap to the guide, so don't worry about that. Um, we'll hit delete. Get rid of that side because I don't want it. And then we will actually wait. No, nah, I want to make sure I do this right. We're going to duplicate this color corrected version, move it down, turn it off, and then we can go ahead and and delete that left hand side. Select none. Grab this uh, other side, the half that we just did. Right click, duplicate that. Go to the flip tool here. We're going to flip that. And then we're going to hold down control and then do, click one more time. So now we flipped it horizontally, then vertically, um, or rather the other way, I guess. Um, and then uh, now we have the same thing on both sides, which looks nice because I wanted, I wanted it to be more symmetrical than it was. Now, the banner tutorial word looks like it's kind of off center. And the reason is because this is kind of off itself. So, no, if we were, you see, there's a little bit more space over here than there is over here, and it's bugging me. Even though it's, you know, that's how it's supposed to look, but it's bugging me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix that by um, selecting. I, we're gonna undo that flip. We're gonna go up to layer, layer to image size, and then we're gonna hit the flip once again, and then we're gonna hold down control, hit flip again. Now it's perfect. You see, now it's good. Um, so. We're going to go ahead, and now this blue that's behind this banner tutorial word, I don't like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and we're actually going to merge these two down, the flipped background. Uh, so now it's one whole thing. Of course, you guessed it. Right-click, duplicate layer, move it down below, turn it off. Um, now, I don't like the way this, this blue looks back here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the brush tool, turn up to somewhere around 500, select the softest brush that we have, 500 again. Um, and I'm going to hit a new layer. I'm going to select a new layer by hitting this little button down here. Hit OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually we'll make the brush size bigger than that. We're just going to go ahead and fix our cursor in the center there. And then just click. Nope. Make sure that's on white. <laughs> and then just click one, two, three times, maybe four times. Yeah, that's good. So now we're going to go ahead and make sure that is uh, is all good. We're going to go ahead and go up to colorize. Uh, colors, sorry. Then colorize. We're going to drop the lightness down. Turn the saturation all the way up. And we're going to we're going to hue shift this to a color that we want it to be. Um, now for this, I think I just want it to be a different shade of the blue that we have. Um, I just didn't want it to be that color blue. So I think we're going to do something like that initially. Yeah. And then we're going to duplicate that. We are going to turn that back to solid white. So colors, colorize, turn lightness all the way up. And then we're going to put that on overlay. Um, and drop the opacity down a little bit. So we can actually, you know what we can do? Yeah, see if 100% is going to be too much. So we'll uh, we'll grab this white uh, somewhere around halfway, per, uh, half of the percent. We'll go to uh, right-click, duplicate. We'll duplicate it. Select the scale tool over here. And then we'll just uh, scale it up. Hold down control so it scales evenly on all sides. We'll just scale it up about that big, super huge. Hit scale. Now we'll have that overlay burst over top of more of the image. All right, there we go. That looks good. Let's good. So now we're kind of losing the word banner tutorial. I want actually, by the way, this isn't white enough. So we'll hit, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll duplicate. Well, actually, we won't duplicate. We'll just go to curves, turn that white up a little bit, and the blue down a little bit more. There we go. So that looks good. Much better, much better, much better. All right. Now we have something that's looking pretty good so far. What I want to do is I want to make sure that behind the actual words banner tutorial, we can actually be able to see it. So I want to make sure that we have something that looks kind of good so i'm going to duplicate this uh text right here right there so now we have two versions of the text i'm going to go to the layer layer to image size then we're going to filters blur and we're going to go to zoom blur now zoom blur if i were to go ahead and get rid of the top uh the top layer the one that's clear still um, you can see what this is doing it's kind of making like it's like in fast motion coming either towards us or away from us or whatever but now that's way too much um if we were to turn the blurring factor up, you can see what we're going to get here, which is kind of like a very, super huge zoom. I think we're going to go somewhere around 0.3, maybe 0.2. You know, do 0.2, hit OK on that. And now if we turn the clear one back on, you can see in the background we do have...